Rayman Legends is yet another example that proves Ubisoft is a master at level design. Welcome to Sir Android TV. After beating Prince of Persia Sands of Time, pretty much every Assassin's Creed game, Rayman Origins, and now Rayman Legends, I feel safe to say that Ubisoft's skill in level design is in the same league as that of Nintendo. In Legends, you start off with all of your abilities, including new ones, and just go as if you're continuing from the end of Origins, except that Legends starts 100 years later. I think Rayman might have a more messed up sleep schedule than me. The game plays just as great and smooth as the previous, but the levels do have a different feeling in design. They seem to be a bit more dense in content and exploration, and the sheer amount of variety is fantastic and helps keep things fresh throughout. This isn't a perfect example, but think Rayman Origins to Donkey Kong Country's more straightforward levels where Rayman Legends is to Donkey Kong Country 2's more varied multi-layered levels. The game makes you work hard to finish it, but it just sweats happiness. Everything about the aesthetics are just so joyous, from the amazing soundtrack, to the character and environment designs, to the UBART engine as a whole, that not only makes the game look amazing, but the game runs in 1080p on both 360 and PS3. All that being said, I did have some gripes with it. The character Murphy makes a return to the series, but in a way that feels very contrived. He's used for moving things around screen to help your navigation, but he was designed for the Wii U touch screen where you can just touch and move the exact thing you want. On 360, PS3, and PC, Murphy's position to move something is based on your precise position on screen, which many times has caused me to accidentally have Murphy move the wrong thing and cause me to fail. I did eventually get a bit of a hang on it, but every time the game stops to bring Murphy in, I'm just, ah, uh, I wish you died in Rayman 3, you smart talking son of a- Second, I played through the PC version using a controller. I used the D-pad for running and jumping, and I used the stick for swimming and flying. Uh, on every other version, you can just switch your thumb between the two, whereas on the PC, you're restricted to just one. And if you want to switch, you have to manually change the controller layout in the settings. Rayman Origins on PC also had the same problem. But in the end, Rayman Legends expands well on its predecessor in almost every way. A far greater amount of content, being able to fast forward your collections at the end of levels, and the music levels are far more enjoyable than almost anything in Origins. <laughs> As for the touchscreen stuff, I actually checked out the demo of the Vita version and the touchscreen gameplay actually works really damn well. Uh, I think this is probably going to be the definitive version for me on a personal level, both for the portability and for the capacitive touchscreen. But from all I've played and all I've seen, there is no bad version of this game. I'll be happy to play Rayman Legends on any platform.